This video will be an inbox review of the AH-1Z Viper from Kitty Hawk. This is a, one of the more modernized versions of the, the AH-1 Cobra. And please like, this uh, kit is from, from Kitty Hawk. I've never built a kit from Kitty Hawk, so we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you can, uh, so you can see when New videos are uploaded. And thanks for watching. Well, here's the box for the AH-1. See? It has some nice box art. But the box wasn't made very good. It fell apart. The top and the bottom both. So, you should think about using some better glue or some staples or something to put the box together. Here we have the... Uh, the clear parts in a box, I'll leave them in here, try to keep them from getting scratched too much. Looks like uh, separate pieces for the canopy. And here we got different lights. Looks pretty clear. Lines are good on it. Let's take a look at the instructions here. Have color photographs. This is gray, a gray version, like two or three toned. It looks like a dark gray, medium, and a light gray on the bottom. And here's another version on the back. Painting instructions in color. That's cool. It's a cool looking version here. I like the paint. I might think about making this one. Looks like a, it has four sprues of gray plastic. Here's the clear parts. Uh, it has photo etch. Two decal sheets. Start with the, the cockpit, like a lot, a lot of times. And go here. This is the uh, engine. One of the engines. And it looks like it, you know, it looks has some different parts for the engines, not just a. A lot of them might not be able to see. The other side, cockpit goes in. The uh, fuselage just has two halves. That might cause problems when putting it together if you're not careful. Here we go, details on the underside. I'll probably wait to do the details on the end. I would wait to do these details until you have the skids on. And you have a place to set it down better than on the details. Canopies, the wings, propeller going together here. Here we start with the, the, the tail section. Uh, weapons. There's a sidewinder, rocket pod, hellfires, yeah, AIM-9L, LAU-68s, those are machine guns, machine gun pods, and 70 millimeter uh, rockets, hellfires. Well, instructions look good. So, let's take a look at the parts. Okay, so here's two trees. This has rotors. Now they're stuck together. Oh, they're not stuck together. The trees are together. It looks like it was folded in half. 
Uh, so here's the uh, tail, tail section, prop, pro propellers, uh, wings, rear prop, weapons, I'm not seeing a lot of flash here, I'm also not seeing a lot of pin marks. The connectors here are pretty thin. Shouldn't be a problem getting it off. The parts look pretty good. But it doesn't have it engraved panel lines. It has raised pins on panel lines. Looks like. Here's the front section. Good detail rivets are there. Once again, the connectors look pretty good. Pretty thin. Here's the cockpit. I don't see any detail here, though. It may come with a photo etch, though. For the panels. The last tree, the front wings with the connectors. I have to do some drilling here for the pylon, so. Sometimes I hate these little tabs that you have to cut off because they're always on these small parts and then it's. You end up damaging the part. Here's a little flash here. It's not bad. Not a lot of flash on it. Detail looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the... Oh, it comes with a weight. It doesn't look like... I seriously doubt that would be enough weight. But I have a... Uh, fishing weights that I use a lot. Put some fishing weights in with a, <clears throat> a little a little glue. It works pretty good. No, I don't see. These are all vents. Seat belts. So maybe the detail for the cockpit is here. Which it looks like here, yeah. We have decals for the cockpit detail. They look good. Register. Nice colors. That must be for the version with the red top. And plus, plus some decals that are for both like the instrument panels. Second sheet. Looks like mainly for the... Well, there's decals for both. It looks really... Ah, so... They, look, they don't look too thick. Should turn out pretty nice. Well... I would say it's worth the build. It looks pretty nice. Gonna have to do a little looking at colors to make sure that the uh, interior and such is, is, are the right colors. I've never built a kit from, from, from Kitty Hawk. And, and they are planning, I believe, this year to release uh, MI-28 Havoc helicopter, Russian. And I'm looking to get that too. I really like the Havoc, but I've only seen them in 172 scale. And I read on the internet that Kitty Hawk is planning on releasing a 148 scale. That's definitely on my wish list.
This looks like a good kit. Um, we'll do a build next year on it. And hopefully, uh, hopefully it turns out looking as good as it does on the pictures here. Um, well, that's all I have for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time.